like if we are preparing ourselves we would get uh, we would not understand something properly right. few concepts are hard to understand mm-hmm. so uh, the scaler uh, comes in that uh, helps in that part hi everyone welcome to chat with champions an initiative by scaler This is Vrinda Vair, your host for the show, and today we're talking to Himanshu Kumar, who is a student and a graduate of NSIT and is currently working at Goldman Sachs. He has previously worked with Edgework. Welcome to the show, Himanshu. Uh, yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Okay. Imagine now that we're sitting with you today, you know, and having this conversation, and probably you know trying to go through all the, uh, I would say, obstacles or achievements or milestones that you've had through the journey that you've made. I would want to really begin with a question that uh, you know people hold really close to their heart, you know, which is uh, about your childhood. What were you interested in during your childhood? What were your passions? uh yeah so as a childhood uh, like i was pretty much interested with science so i like was interested in computers like i uh, played a lot of games and yeah so like since childhood i have been playing games i like uh, working on computers and exploring them and uh, yeah in my college days even like <laughs> gaming was a great part of my life so uh, there was never a day when we uh, Didn't do any uh, gaming, so okay. yeah, uh, that's the uh, way I got into basically into computers and all, and like right. I started liking the programming stuff. Yeah, and how was that? You know, uh, phase of transitioning from you know having all the fun in your life to an adulthood phase wherein you have to earn for yourself and work. How yeah. was that? So uh, for me, it was kind of uh, that phase was difficult, like. Uh, when i was in college uh, like i sat in several uh, like uh, many of the placement opportunities which i got right. so when i was uh, sitting in placement opportunities i was never sure of what i want to do like i um, i'm an electronics engineer so i didn't have any idea about this programming or coding stuff i liked computers but i didn't have a hint of idea of what to do uh, how to do anything so I, I was like, let's go in some non-tech stuff, uh, join some consulting companies, or like I was midway also between doing a tech job, like being a pure electronics engineer. So mm-hmm. I was in between that, and I was n- never sure what to do. So I sat in just placement opportunities, n- not like wholeheartedly uh, giving my hundred uh, percent f- uh, for that interview and all. Yeah. So it was never placed in a good. Uh, company i started with accenture so after that my days were pretty tough so like after joining uh, my first job uh, like i started working few trainings happened and mm-hmm. then like uh, my father got cancer so uh, i have to completely shift from out of the like from my job i have to take a leave of absence for around like 6 to 7 months uh, mm-hmm. to like take care of everything and yeah. then like it completely you can say after my college it one year was completely kind of spent around that i was not working at all uh, okay. so i started one year after and then i kind of uh, somewhat realized when i joined the job again at accenture after all my leave of absence and yeah. like i working there i realized that the the work which i was doing like related to programming it Uh, like i started liking it basically so mm-hmm. I, i thought of it like i should uh, uh, pursue it as a passion or like i i would like it let's continue here so i st- kept on working there i got good quality work and uh, that's how i like uh, it uh, grew upon so how work. did you how did you transition between the previous job that you were having right and the current job that you were having now when i asked that question i am majorly asking when you appeared for the interview for you know goldman sachs what did you look forward to in the job what was different so uh for me job was i was satisfied with the job but mm-hmm. one thing i was looking was that 
whatever i'm doing i should do at people which are uh, with people which are the best like right a uh, goldman or any other company they employs the best uh, people uh, best folks out there mm-hmm. like they uh, employ all the brilliant minds so like why if i'm uh, good at something if i can do something uh, better sh- why shouldn't i uh, do it at a better company why sh- uh, shouldn't i do it with uh, among better folks so that was my main uh, like aim i should do everything better goldman's was a dream of me kind of because even during the college days it hires like uh, it was the first company to come in uh, to the college and mm. hire people and uh, yeah. like they hire only a single or few uh, like one or two folks so okay. it's all it was always a dream for me yeah so the main aim was to be at the best place with among the best people okay uh, so i would want to you know the follow up question to this would be that you were working when you were appearing for the interview for goldman sachs right so yeah. was there a way of preparation that you followed or was there a path that you you know very religiously took so that you could prepare you know finely and intricately for the job that you were appearing for uh yeah like uh, the basic uh, mantra i followed was work every day i spent around 4 to 5 hours every day for preparing right. uh, mm-hmm. apart from my job like uh, after my uh, job uh, working hours were over i spent 4 to 5 hours uh, though it uh, uh, it cut my sleep but mm-hmm. i would spend a uh, photo hour religiously and I would always solve a specific amount of questions that i'll uh, keep fixed that i want to solve today 10 problems i will solve that and yeah. before that like i would sleep there was some target which i kept and i kept it follow okay okay and i and i also assume that there must have been you know hurdles everybody has hurdles when they prepare for anything in life right so uh, what were the hurdles and along with that i would also want to ask how do you think that you know scaler as a place as an institute or as a learning space you know help you sort of take away those hurdles from the process Uh, so like while preparing there are several yeah like uh, there is lack of resources mm. uh, we can't get proper resources to prepare uh, like if we are preparing ourselves we would get uh, we would not understand something properly right. few concepts are hard to understand mm-hmm. so uh, the scaler uh, comes in that uh, helps in that part so they kind of structure everything what you need to prepare and how you need to prepare yeah. the lectures which are going on every day like they help you to clear your concept like there were many concepts which like since i'm electronics engineer i did know of so yeah. it helped me to understand properly what those concepts were and how to apply them uh, that's where the scaler came in like helped me greatly okay now we're going to be moving to a very interesting round of the interview it's our version of the coffee with karan bollywood quiz which is yeah. rapid fire with scaler so you only get 3 seconds to answer every question that i ask and only one word to give an answer okay so just okay. be very mm. okay the first question is going to be when i say dream your dream yeah. what's the first thing that comes to your mind uh google okay if you had to do all of what you've done again you know you get a chance then what is the one thing that you would do differently uh decide what to do earlier like to, uh, okay predict what i want to do okay 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 second question uh, i mean the next question is going to be what is the hardest lesson that you've learned so far there are no shortcuts like i tried to uh, take shortcuts a lot of time but there are no shortcuts uh, we have to do the things right way uh dota or cs which one would you choose cs mhm uh if you were to give some must haves to people who want to apply to it companies that they've been dreaming of what would those must haves be uh one should not focus on the salaries and all uh, majorly one should focus on the kind of experience they achieve the kind of work they do Right. the the more the good work they have done the better it is yes 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 okay work from home or office a uh, tinge of both tinge like, of both you're I, not getting I, because i am now starting to hate this uh, work from <laughs> home part okay so office then we'll take that uh, yeah okay okay uh we're we're almost at the end of the interview himanshu and the last thing that i would want to ask you is that uh you know through the journey you've made 
what is the one piece of advice that you would want to give to people who want to belong to the same field as you and work there uh just uh, it's very simple like keep on working uh build some uh, have a goal and uh, write down some steps which uh using which you can reach there and uh, just keep following it regularly uh, okay. have a task in your hand that i want to achieve it uh, every day and just keep it following and like you have to climb one uh, step at a time to reach the goal right thank you so much himanshu for letting out you know those deep dark secrets out of your life and helping people who are going to be watching you and this interview So thank you so much for sharing your story with us and sitting with me and having this conversation. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Linda. And thank you to people who are watching. I hope uh, what Himanshu has told really helps. You know, in 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 certain uh, betterment of your life, and these things add up to your life because experiences are all that we're made of. So thank you so much for watching. I am Linda, and we will see you the next time. Bye.